What's up guys, Kazuksaka here, and we are going to start a new series. We're doing a Terraria 1.2 guide series. A friend of mine is going to join us every now and then, but for now, what we're going to do is we create a new character, Cards with a Guide, so I know which uh, series is, and we're going to go into the guide series world, um, which is a new world I gened about a minute ago, just to, uh, so we'll, this episode is going to be about your first, your first house. If you noticed, I can't do shit, because jumping is bad. I'm used to playing my other character, um, who's got all the uh, you know, ninja gear and stuff. So he can all the jumping gear and stuff. So we've got a large body of water. That's useful. You can build on that. The first thing you always want to do, uh, trees. You want to get a good source of wood. Be it to see, for example, you get a, when you pull the wood, you get when you pull a tree down with your axe, you get wood and if you're lucky, acorns. Acorns can be planted into new trees. This tree will not yield acorns because it's got no bushes. You always, by the, the first night, which is what we're aiming to do, survive for the first night in this video, you want to see, fight off slimes you kill with a sword. Well, your pickaxe works really well actually on getting those green slimes until you can upgrade it and get a wooden broadsword, which we'll explain later. So you just want to gather some wood. Also, you also want to, if you see anything important, like, you know, topsoil ores or stuff, or even topsoil stone if you think you're going to be using it, grab it. There's no reason not to. If you see, a, say, an ore, say, we'll use copper. Copper's not the best. It's pretty useless otherwise. The only thing it's good for is, um, armor. Uh, because you start with copper tools, and copper tools have reduced range compared to other tools. For example, we see my copper saw, my copper pickaxe has a 35% pickaxe power and minus one range. My axe has 35% axe power and minus one range. If there was wood tools, wood tools would be an improvement. Uh, as you can see below the mini map on the right, which is a new 1.2 feature, I've got some surface copper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skedaddle on over here and grab this. Uh, copper, we need. Oh, shit. Hang on, give me just a second. There we go. That's that sorted. I just had to send my emails out. Um, so we got to grab the copper, which we can smelt with a furnace. If we're lucky, we get a furnace done this episode. Um, uh, furnaces are usually I usually get them done pretty early. I've seen people that get, take about three in-game days to do it. I if I'm lucky to get it second uh, first night. I'm probably gonna grab the next two. Tree. Um, I'm gonna gather about. Oh, we got snow biome. A good thing also to do is explore your local area. Building in the first biome spawn in, which is also known as the forest biome, is the, is the best thing to do for a new player. Because you're, the only monsters you'll really get harassed by during the day are slimes. If I were to go any, like, I'd be attacked by, for example, this nice slime coming from the right. He is a bit more violent and more damaging than the last slime we fought, because looks not below watch. And he has a bit more HP and is a bit tankier in general, so we, guess we can. But he does a bit more damage too. And they're also a lot more numerous, but they don't drop better gold money. See? Oh God. I mean, ah, see what I mean? Just two of them is a problem. Which is why we need a new sword. I'm going to kill this one first. Kill them both. Kill them both. I said, leave me alone. Um, chilled. I've been chilled. They provide, yeah. Ice slime, chill you, reducing your movement speed. So, see what I'm doing here is I'm, yeah. So what we're gonna do is also a good thing to do is gather some. It sounds really stupid. Gather dirt, clear land, clear some flat space. Building on a hill is all good, but if the hill ha isn't that useful in building terms, you know. Oh my god, look. Yeah, it's a hill. You've got say 20 blocks wide flat. That's usually enough for a good house, but you don't get to do what you want. Like for example, my. I'll have to show you guys. I have a world where. I flattened out a large plot of land pretty early on, and that has become my main residence. What we're going to do is smash up this ice line. We're so close to the ice line, the ice monsters are going to hunt us down for a bit. So what I'm going to do is... Um, grab that dirt there. You, you, little mining techniques are useful, like that are useful, like you can just jump and... See, and um, you have to use the head of your pickaxe to hit things, you can't like walk up into things. Hang on, so I'm going to jump up here. This will do for the building, um, but the thing is, we want to get a way up. If we wanted to explore further to the left, 
what we can do is we're going to dig away this bit of dirt. Can we, we can, yeah, we can jump on the dirt, but that'll make it easier. So there we go. So we can then, okay, kill the slime, ice slime, go away, ice slime. Maybe building here's not better. Good idea. Yeah, no, it's not. We just use the dirt with Gary and uh, just get Daddle on up the hill. To um, see that stone there, we'll leave. We don't need that because okay, see, look, green slimes. Even green slimes are annoying at this stage in the game. Um. Oh, they usually. Okay, so what we're gonna do is blueberries. Grab them. They're useful. We're gonna get some of this dirt, and actually, it'll be easier to just flatten this uh, onto this layer. We're gonna flatten this bit of ground. This is gonna be where our house is because it's in the middle of the, the forest biome. It's nice, easy to defend, simple place. You're not gonna have much problem with monsters, zombies later at night, but night time is the bad part of this game. You get attacked by griblies, evil, evil griblies. If you've um, even if you've had a small experience of Terraria, you know monsters can be annoying, and there are even boss monsters, which are powerful, scary creatures. Um, the first boss you'll usually engage is the Eye of Cthulhu. The thing is with him, he's easy to prepare for. So we've got the dirt. We're going to swing at... Oh my god. I can't believe I just can't kill a squirrel or a bunny. Oh my god. It's I'm so used to being such a higher leveled character. Destroy that block. Um, because I don't have a hammer at the moment, I'm destroying these... Okay. I'm destroying these blocks instead of... Okay, so... I'll just destroy this little mound and then we'll be okay. There we go. So, first thing you do is you open your crafting interface. Uh, I've collected some gel, so we're gonna make some torches. Hold right click, make as many of them as you can. You can never have enough of these. You can walk around with them in the hand to provide light, or you can place them down. Oh, you can place them on other things, like for example the wall. Can I place them on these walls? Yep. Hang on. Nope. Yeah. See. So now it's on the wall. We um, first thing you want to make a workbench. Uh, you can click that straight down. That opens up many more options. Since our house is going to be a simple house, we want, first things first, we want to make do two doors. We have two doors in our house. Um, you always have a chair. That's um, the table we don't need. Uh, if you were to make more houses, you could put more tables in. But the workbench fulfills that requirement for NPCs to come and join us. Wood armor, you can get soon. You want to make a wooden sword. Replace your copper sword with it. I've got a pointy wooden sword, because when you create equipment, you get a chance Oh, the prefix could be good, could be bad. For example, I'll create another. I'll create my hammer. I get a massive wooden hammer, which, because it's wood, has reduced range, but it's big. So, for example, it's a big hammer. And the sword, the two, the new, the sword has an overhead swing, which allows you to fight off slimes much easier. If you wanted to try and range a character, build a bow. That's your personal preference. I like playing melee characters. I will, however, my friend of mine who will join us soon, um, he likes playing rangers, so he he can help go over that. So what we do is, we'll build a five, six, eight, nine, dig ten, and fill the floor with wood. This is going to be the first hut. Huts are done to death in this game. If you're new to the game, this is what you do. You literally can do that. Put that on our bar so we can do that. You then jump up here, do two more blocks up, and go across. Till you reach the same number here and do down two and get your door out and put that down. Bam! This is the first hut. This is where your guide, aka, for example, we got coal. We don't need him because I'm here. Put, burn, put the bench inside. Get the chair. Put the chair next to the table because there's certain items you can only craft on that setup. Um, you can put the torch inside. That provides your light source. And then, if you've done, see you got this stuff behind you, you can use the hammer to dig it out and get rid of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear the inside of the house of what's known as dirt. Back or under, or dirt back, yeah, dirt backgrounds, or dirt walls. Although, because we didn't place them, we can't harvest them again. So, we cleared it. Just make sure I've cleared it. Yeah. So, that's clear. What we don't want to do is go to the bench, find yourself wood walls. Make, say, 200. 200. Most people, um, it doesn't matter because the thing is with walls, most walls, not all, wood walls are the easy, obvious one because they're easy to get. What you do is, once you've done, once you see, look, I've only used 40 walls. 
Just then you go over to the side here, you've got the housing button above your equipment. You can do that. You can use your housing query to see if it's suitable. If it says this housing is suitable, you can put a guide. You can put your person in. For example, the guide is now okay to live here. With wood wall, you can make four wood walls back into wood. So I'm gonna do it. I'm hold right click and then bam, I've got my all my wood back that I used. All my spare wood. So we're into the first night. Um now, first thing we want to do is yeah, another good thing, just clear the local area. Make sure it's nice and safe. But you may be thinking, on those out there watching this going, but but Kazu, but Kazu are what what happens at night? Those thing oh, apart from monsters. This is the, the you know. Now I have this wooden sword, I feel much more safe at fighting creatures. So I don't mind going out and hunting dry slimes. Um before I do anything else stupid though, I'm gonna quickly explore down here and hope there is like a Oh, there's nothing. Oh well. But we put torches up, so that's so we know what's there. I'm gonna cut the vines away so I can put a torch up there. Um and the torch there. And I'm gonna get some dirt and build a way up for, for coal. And also to just block the hole off. Get out of the way, coal. Bam! Cole can get into his house. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just build a straight layer across. Put. We can upgrade. We can change that layer once we get into actuators and cabling. That's a lot further ahead and brand new in 1.2. See, this is what happens. Demonize. New. And you you don't see these during the day. I'm gonna go to the housing interface because if you leave that up, you get little banners of who's where and whatnot. And so we got the demon eye. He they drop was common known as lenses. For example, we've got a lens. We need two of these, and we can make a pair of goggles. So I'm hoping that we've got another one appearing soon. So I can, I'm going to place a couple of torches to light up our land. To each other, I'm going to grab. What you do is, if you if you're brave, you don't. You can literally just go and sit in your house all night, wait for day to come, and go and gather this yourself. Just grab some stone as well. You're going to need it. Stone is useful. It you apart from building, you can use it for arrowheads arrows you put one wood one arrow one wood and one stone you get five arrows if you just gather it it's got uses you can use it for building material and it just it's just tougher as well it takes a bit harder to, it's a lot harder to get through than wood I'll put torch down so i can see oh my god i didn't realize this much you can't use stone for tools or armor which is a tad sad i know i wish i could because then i'd get a stone pickaxe Sounds stupid, but I think if they did, a stone pickaxe would be better than copper pickaxe, even though copper is a metal. Make sense of that in the comments. But at the moment, when you create a character, that's because I've got to go over character creation. You have three types of mode: soft core, medium core, and hard core. If you're new to the game, I recommend soft core because that means when you die, you lose a bit of money, but you don't lose your stuff. You can go down, for example, say full wooden armor. So you've just made some full set of wooden armor, and you feel really sort of. You know, I, I'm I'm a tough man. I can go and fight stuff. I'll just go go get some wood armor. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's a zombie Eskimo. We're gonna go up and deal with him using our pointy wooden short sword. Oh god, no, he's fighting back. I don't. You're not meant to fight back. This is a guy. You're not meant to fight back. We can kill him. Um, zombie Eskimos, if you're lucky, they drop armor. Sounds stupid. Yeah. Using your pickaxe is a bad idea. Using your axe is a bad yeah. idea. Using your hammer is even worse. Use the sword. Later on, you'll get better swords and equipment you find. See, if you do a, like a strafing technique that allows you to back off and fight zombies on your own, on your own terms, yeah. oh God, do not do that and hit them towards you. That's a bad idea. The little, these little zombies are easier to kill. Um, all monsters, most monsters, because there are ways of spawning your own monsters with statues, which we can go on, we'll cover later. You can go on and um, drop money. Uh, money can be used to gather NPCs. For example, we've got nine silver. If we get fifty silver and have a house space, an NPC known as the merchant, um, we'll spawn, and he'll come sell us stuff. And um, certain certain NPCs actually have special items they only sell under conditions, certain conditions. Example: when you have um, two NPCs, there is a, I think it's two or three. I'll make sure I'll check that up and put it as an annotation. Um, 
Oh god, I'm under attack again. You um get the painter. The painter sells you paint, uh, paint brushes, paint rollers, which allows you to paint blocks and stuff, and your walls and stuff. You know. Oh god. Oh, it's, oh my god, there's so many of them. You see what I mean? As, as I said, only if you want to fight them. You don't. Ha you can go and sit. In they can't break. They can't break down doors. You just gotta be careful. Oh, you, you gotta know what you're doing. See, I've got no lucky drops. Each monster has a lucky set of certain drops they can get. If you know. I'm just hoping because um, no, zombies can drop shackles, which go in this slot here down here in the accessories, provide a defense point and other bonuses. We will leave that hole there for now because that's vaguely useful for defense. But if you wish to make sure your zombies can't break your door, just do this: dig a two, two wide chasm. That two by two hole. That's literally it. Zombies will not bother you. They'll, they'll sort of go like that, hop. But yeah, they can get on top of here. Which is why when you expand, we're going to expand the house as well. So, okay, we can make a furnace. We'll do that. You need three torches, which is in, a, in literally one gel and one wood. Um, we're going to make a rest of as many torches as we can with that gel we get. We've got another 18 torches. That's good. If you want to make a be an archer, you want to go get, gather some stone. There's five types of wood in this game. Wood, normal wood, which we've got. Rich mahogany is found in the jungle and is worth more money-wise, but and looks a tad pink. Ebon wood is dark purple, and you gather it from corruption, which is bad. You don't want to explore that yet. Shade wood you gain from crimson. Crimson is an alternate version of corruption. Worlds can only spawn with crimson or corruption. Crimson is worse. It's harder. But you get better loot. On pearl wood, you get from the hallow, which you get a lot later in the game. I've never even seen pearl wood because I've not got that far before. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to exp um, we've made all the many torches. We can make the first thing we're going to do is most people, we're going to destroy this bit, and we can make wooden platforms. We'll put two of these down in the floor. The difference is between wooden platforms is you can drop through them and climb up them like this. See? It was another demon or something going to go out there and fight. There's different types of zombies as well. For example, this zombie has a slime on its head, which means it drops gel. And it's a tad more useful than the normal zombie loot. Because normal zombies just drop gold. Uh, money. Not gold. Gold is um, a lot more money than money. Then, then copper. So, rangers usually have a easier time if you know how to aim properly. Like, lead your shots against demon eyes. So, we've got another set of lens. Oh, we've got a second lens. That's what we were hunting for. So we're going to walk back in here. Because I destroyed the floor underneath the workbench, we have to put it back down. And if we scroll, we got another gel, so make another set of torches. We walk, scroll to the bottom, because we've got two lenses. That's all we need for our first piece of armour. Scroll to the bottom, you see goggles. Grab them, put them on. They look amazing, and they provide a defence point. Which means you take a tad more little, tad less damage. And what we're going to do is dig underneath your house. Six blocks down. Put a torch at the back. And dig. Leaving a one block wall on either side to stop them zombies from getting into your trench. And in via your trench. A good trick is if you want to uh, climb higher, do this. Do not the block you're standing on, the one above the one you're standing on, and do three. Because then bam. What we want to do now is we're going to place... See, because now we can, if you, what you do is you hold, if you jump, you can't, you jump and hold up, and as you hold up, it propels you up. Um, if that's not, if you can't be able to do that, you can just put two blocks in, and you can just jump straight up. What we see all around, the, this is a flying, fallen star. Grab these as many as you can. They're used for ammo for later guns, and you can also use them for, um, making mana crystals. We're not going to do that because we know we can hold up and jump to get up there. What we're going to do is we got our wood. Um, actually, we'll line this with stone. I always line my basements with stone. I have no idea why. It's just something I do. It also allows us to grab some of this clay as well. Clay you use it with in conjunction with the furnace to um give me just a second. Oh, I apologize about that. So what we're going to do so. Wait, wait, wait. We're digging this out to line it with stone. 
you can place in blocks is easier because the fractal pickaxe is such a shorter range. You see what I've done is now we've got this lined with stone. If we wanted to later, we can clear the back room, but the back wall. Thing is, with this type of back, we can. Yeah. You can just. Can you? You can't click any. Oh, you can. With dirt, you can. But with this like stony stuff, you can't just click on it and dig. You need to go from an open space. For example, see, I have to go like that. I'll clear that in a later date. But we've got to put. We can make. Go back up to our workbench. We're gonna make a furnace. Build. Get one of them. Drop down here. Put the furnace down. The furnace allows us to smelt bars for example, and use different stuff. So, for example, we can make red brick from clay, grey brick from stone, bowls, pink vases, clay pots. Uh, we want to make one pink vase if you've got any clay. That's it. That's all you need. Uh, smelt any oil you've got by doing that. And so this, so we got we survived our first night. Yippee! Oh, nearly, nearly failed. Uh, which would have been really, really embarrassing to be honest. But we survived our first night, which is good. Yeah. Gathering all this clay is a good idea because that gives you loads of um, pots, clay pots, which you can use for farming later. Like, which we'll do in another episode. So, we, yeah, I'll make a list of it in the description of what I've said this episode, I'll cover in later episodes. More so for both of our, both mine and you, the viewer's memory. Because, I mean, sometimes I completely forget and go, what am I meant to be covering? Oh yeah, I said I was going to do actuators. Not American, I just, I am not American. I did not mean to offend anyone if I'm, by doing stupid accents, that's just, I find it fun. So, we, this clay, clay is useful. However, it is finite. You can only get a certain amount of clay in your world. Easiest way to get more, generate a new world. And you can literally go out into the new world. You can use, more, you can use one character across multiple worlds. And just go and you say you built a new say you have had a world you're building on. You can just go to another world, gather resources from that world, and bam, use them. To uh, use the resources from the other world. There's loads of clay, so I'm not gonna gather it all. I'm just gonna get out of this hole. Dirt is your friend. Block the hole. So we survived the first night and <coughs> We survived the first night, got ourselves a basement, furnace, workbench, and I'm going to explain NPCs while I'm here. Um, we need another room that's uh, got a table and chairs. We'll do that. We'll build that above. So we need two more wood platforms. We can uh, jump on the table, because rebels, like we are. We can put the two wood platforms down, get our wood out. Because we don't need a door, because we're on the second floor, we can just do this, build like a shell. I have a weird way of doing this. You can do it. You should, if you're lucky, if you should be able to do it, just standing up in the middle. You need to go down to your workbench, make wood walls. Later on, you learn there's a lot more than just wood walls and stone walls. There's so many different things you can build in this game. It's about. It's very, very varied. So we're gonna fill the back walls in. And see, so I've got 72 walls again, so I can drop back down. Another good button is this one, the crafting window. It gives you all the items you can make. So you click on it, and it takes you to that item. So now I can make all my wood back into more wood. So I've got my wood. Wood, wood, wood. Uh, I can make a table and another chair. Put the table in the middle, or whatever. The table's bigger. And depending on the way you face, depends on the way the um, chair goes, for example, because this chair is going to bounce. So we're going to do this. What we can then do is check check it's suitable. It does not have a light source. That means we do put a torch up. Bam! It's suitable. So what we're going to do is put coal in there. So now coal lives in the top floor. The bottom floor will be for the new NPC whoever joins us. So example, if I go out and um, if you give me a couple of minutes, I will uh, give me just a sec. I'll show you how to get new NPCs. Um, just gotta get me some silver. Be right back. And we're back. See, I went on another world and grabbed a gold coin because that's gold coin is worth a hundred silver. So all we have to do is wait. What happens is, as that how as as we sh as I'll show you, this housing is suitable, which means we can get a new NPC if he decides to spawn, decides to turn up, you know. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna explore for a bit. Um, we've explored that way because we know there is. See, Mortimer the merchant has arrived. 
What a name, Mortimer. You get Mortimer when you have 50 or more silver. Mortimer sells you things. Things are useful. Example thing. The sun is high, but my price is not. He can sell you a piggy bank or an anvil. If you haven't found any iron or lead, lead is the alternate. There are alternate ores. Tin is an alternate. Tin is better than copper because it doesn't have the range reduction. Buy an anvil. Bam. I bought an anvil. So, which means I can um, now. Yeah, that's all I wanted to buy from him for now. I can drop down into our crafting bed, uh, room, put the anvil down, which means now we can make some tools with our or if we had any, um, with any, if we had any more. See, so I'm just gonna stand here and swing my sword. Because I'm gonna get, kill a few of these slimes, and then that should be it for our first episode of the Terraria Guide. 1.2 for noobs. Um, don't worry, I was like, kind of like this actually when I first started playing 1. Point, with Terraria. What, in general? And. So I have decided to help you guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Terraria Guide, and um, hope you keep keep watching for the next one. Sayonara.